Hi, I'm Brenda with Hay Needle, and today we're going to be doing a short assembly video on the Franklin Tournament Soccer Rebound Goal. Approximate time for this assembly is about an hour. There are no tools necessary. You want to start by removing all of your contents from your box. Then you want to take a brief inventory to make sure you have all parts and hardware necessary for this assembly. The first step, you're going to need both of your pieces labeled as 5 and both of your pieces labeled as 8. You want to take your piece 8 and you're going to be inserting it into your piece 5, but you want to make sure that the pin is going in the part labeled as A. This is going to be your part labeled as A. For this section, you're going to need 12 pieces of your bungee cord. You're going to place three on each piece labeled as eight. And then three on each piece labeled as five. For this part, you're going to need two of your pieces labeled as 11, four bolts, four wing nuts, and four of your flat washers. For this part, you're going to need your piece labeled as 11, two of your washers, two of your bolts, and two of your lock nuts. You want to take your piece 11 and place it over the bottom hole on piece 8, and then place over the hole on piece 5. You want to make sure that you take two of your bungee cords above that, but make sure you leave one. Now taking your bolt, you want to insert on your, through your piece 5 and then insert one on your piece 11. It might be easier to lay it on its side. And then you're going to attach your washers and then tighten down your wing nuts. And you want to repeat these steps for the opposite side. For the next part, you're going to need your pieces 9 and 10. You want to take these and set them quite a ways apart. You're also going to need 8 of your bungee cords. You want to take your piece 9 and insert into piece 10 until you hear the, pit, the pin click. And then you want to take your bungee cords and place those over pieces 9 and 10. And you're going to take piece 10 and insert it into piece 8. Then you're going to take piece 9 and do the same. For this part, you're going to need two of your pieces labeled as six. You're going to insert those on each side of your pieces eight and five. You want to make sure that this part is the part that's sticking out. Once again, you place those in until you hear the pin click. Then you're going to repeat that on the opposite side. For the next part, you're going to need two of your pieces labeled as seven, three of your bolts, three of your washers, and three of your wing nuts. You're going to take one bolt and place it through the middle hole on your piece five. You're going to take one piece labeled as seven, insert that on the back, and then place your second piece labeled as seven on the back. Then you're going to place your washer and then tighten down your wing nut. Now you want to take a bolt and place it through your piece 6 by, and attaching your piece 7. Place a washer on the back and tighten your wing nut.
And now you want to repeat these steps for your opposite side. For the next part, you're going to need your piece labeled as four and five of your bungee cords. You're going to place five of your bungee cords over your piece four. And then you're going to place piece four over piece five. And then push down till you hear the pin click. And just let your bungee cords hang and then repeat for your opposite side. For the next part, you're going to need your two pieces labeled as one, your piece labeled as two, your piece labeled as three, and then you're also going to need nine of your bungee cords. You want to take three of your bungee cords and place on one of your pieces labeled as one, your piece labeled as two, and then your piece labeled as three. Now with the long extended part of piece one, we're going to be inserting piece two. Once you have piece two into piece one, we're now going to be inserting into piece three. Once into piece three, we will be inserting into our second piece one. To complete your assembly, you're going to take your top bar and insert on both sides of piece four. You want to place your bungee cords about six to eight inches apart. Six to eight inches being about that much. You want to first start by doing all four corners. You want to wrap the bungee cord around and then place it like that. And now you just want to go through all the sides and tighten down your bungee cords with your net. Once you have your net put into place, you now have your finished Franklin Tournament Soccer Rebound Goal.